good, everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have an epic episode of WWE action figure surgery. Like, holy Christ, at the amount of stuff we have to get through today, like, my God, this video is going to be super duper long, I feel like. I could be wrong about that, but we're back at it again with an epic episode. I got a lot of creative stuff going on. WrestleMania 36, Seth Rollins. We got a Kevin Owens fix up. We got some other things going on that I'm really excited about. We got some painting involved, some decal application, some acetone. I mean, a little bit of everything going on in this episode that I'm super happy to get into with you guys. So first and foremost, we always start off WWE action figure surgery with everything we're going to do here today. So let's go ahead and knock that out, shall we? So let's go ahead and start off with our WrestleMania 36 Seth Rollins. You guys will see right here, I have the base, the Elite 45 Seth Rollins, but he does have the torso switched. I have torso swapped him with a uh, top talents or whatever. What a, a Seth Rollins with the chest hair, right? Because I didn't want to do the pencil method. The pencil method method is just not, you know, my favorite. It's like real thin. It's not as, you know, thick. It doesn't look as good. So I think this will look a whole lot better. I'm very excited with the way this turned out. And even if it was just an Elite 45 Rollins fix up, I just put a random head on there or just that Elite 37 head on there. That would be a beautiful fix up in itself. But we're not going to stop there, guys. We're going to acetone all these logos off of this guy. We're going to switch out these knee pads with his open knee pads. We're going to acetone all the gold off of this guy. And we are going to apply the Monday Night Massage Saya decal to the side so that he will have the accurate attire from WrestleMania 36 where he took on Kevin Owens. So we got the little WrestleMania 36 rematch. Both guys featured here today. No, we are not going to be making a WrestleMania 36 Kevin Owens. I just, you know, it's just a t-shirt change and it's not a big time attire that I want to add to my Kevin Owens shelf. Even though it is a mania attire, I'll probably add it later on down the line if we don't get it from Mattel, but we are not going to do it here today. But we are going to make this Rollins. We are going to be taking the Elite 75 head scan from this figure and putting it on the WrestleMania 36. 36, so that's why this guy's here because I want to make this full Rollins and this will be the Rollins that we probably use going forward in predictions videos. Anything doing with current WWE, we'll probably use that that white Monday Night Messiah. I think that'd be a really sick attire. You guys know I love the white gears. White's my favorite color and fantasy attires and everything like that. Him bringing back that white gear for, for this event, I gotta make it. So we are going to be making a WrestleMania 30... All my words ran together for some damn reason. We're going to be making a WrestleMania 36 Rollins and we are going to use this head sculpt over there because it's the most current, it looks the best, and that's what we got going on. Not only that, guys, but we also have, I don't know where the hell it went, but I cut out a, a piece of an Elite Box right here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I cut out a piece of an Elite Box down to the belt buckle size that he had on that attire just so it's not plain white with a Monday Night Messiah. I am going to put this little logo here that matches the size and the shape of this belt logo right here, which is his belt buckle, if you will, of the attire. I'm going to glue that. I'm going to super glue that to right under his belly button. So it'll give the attire a little bit more flash and stuff. I did cut this piece out of this Adam Cole Elite WWE figure box. So that's, you know, that is what it is right there. If you guys were wondering how I did that, I just took some scissors, cut it to size, and uh, it was a bitch. I had to redo it a hundred times. I've lost it a hundred times. Had to recut it to find it, and yeah, it was, it was god awful. So we are going to be doing both of those. I'm going to sit this over to the side because I do not want the trusty hair dryer to blow that bitch away and have to recut it because I'll have to cut my own damn head off if I do that again. This stuff right here, you're probably wondering what the hell this is. This is actually how you get your decals to stick. This is uh, micro saw and micro set. What you do is before you apply the decal, you will apply the blue on the figure where you want to put the decal. You'll dip your decal in the water, let it dry a little bit. You'll apply your decal in that spot and then you'll come back with the red and that will make that, give it that factory ass look and you guys will see that. We'll, we'll showcase that in this video so you guys will kind of check out what that's about and everything like that. So that is going to be showing you guys how to uh, correctly seal and apply decals way easier. I could not get that shit to go with just water. That right there was a lifesaver and I'm happy to do that for you guys. Super glue, we talked about it with the little uh, the little belt buckle or whatever deal that is. We have our open knee pads that need to go over here as well. Acetone, you guys already know that's for the Rollins. As far as Kevin Owens is concerned, we are going to be switching out his kick pads with these Hurricane kick pads. I forgot, I, I don't know who recommended it, but they wanted to see a white boot Kevin Owens. So we're going to give it to him, man. Whoever you are, shout out to you, bud. We're, we're going to do it here today. We're going to put the Hurricane kick pads with these HBK feet. They have like some silver detailing on them. Not a big deal to me. Um, these are not the same as these. These are like the KO mold. These are the HBK Seth Rollins mold. So we will take the feet off, put them over here, pop this off, and put it over here to switch out the boots to match the, you know, Royal Rumble attire, like the white shirt with the white boots. I feel like that would be the best. White tape would probably 
probably work better with a black shirt, but we don't have that right now, so I'm just going to go with the white boots, white shirt. And not only that, we are going to be putting the Elite 66 head scan on that figure to make him look good, to make him fit right and everything like that. We are going to be putting all that together. And lastly, I have a really sick idea, and I got to shout out my boy Harrison. Uh, if you guys know Harrison's pick fed, EWF, he's a freaking baller, probably one of the best pick fetters in the game. He has AJ Styles and Seth Rollins in a tag team right here, and I'm going to kind of copy his idea, but not, not really. That's why I wanted to give him the, the shout, because this is what gave me the idea, seeing them together. I'm going to take the Top Talents 2018 AJ Styles or 2019 AJ Styles, and I'm going to take the Elite 52 Seth. I'm going to do some part switching, and we're going to have this Rollins in the AJ gloves, and not only that, we're going to put this Elite 37 head sculpt on here, and we're going to paint the blonde streak and his hair green, and we're going to give it a fluorescent glow to it. Um, that way it will glow in the dark, I think, and it will be, you know, this uh, this like bright green color that we got going on on the Rollins. So uh, I think that will go perfectly together with this head scan together with AJ Styles. I'm going to need a tag team name down in the comment section below, but we are going to switch these arms out with this Elite 64 Rollins so that we can, because these arms don't allow interchangeable hands, we're going to switch these arms over to this guy so that you can interchange the AJ gloves. So both of them will be wearing AJ gloves. Both of them will have the black and green, and they will match pretty much. So that, that'll be a really sick-ass swap. I'm really excited to see how that pops off. I know this is a little bit more yellow than this is. This is a little bit more green than that, but, you know, on camera and whatever, they kind of match, and it, it looks pretty solid. I think it'll be pretty cool to see them up next to each other. And even if, you know, if I want to pop the Rollins, you know, AJ gloves off, I can always do that, and it's just a cool fantasy attire style Seth Rollins anyway. So, you know what? It, who cares, man? We're just kind of switching and swatching. And you know here on Action Figure Surgery, we just throw shit at the wall and see what sticks. So that's what we got going on. But as far as what we're going to be doing first, let's go ahead and dive into Kevin Owens. Let's knock Kevin Owens out of the way. Let's knock Rollins out of the way. And then we'll get into our WrestleMania 36 Rollins. So let's shut the hell up, get into some surgery, because we got a long-ass day ahead of us for Dr. Whitekiss. All right, guys, so what we're going to do first is obviously going to be Kevin Owens. Now I'm going to have to heat up these boots while heating up the Shawn Michaels feet, because we got to take those feet off and we have to attach them to the Hurricane legs. And not only that, we have to heat up the Hurricane legs so that they or the, the, the boots, I should say, so that we can, uh, you know, detach them from these lower legs, put them on there. And not only that, we have to also heat up the Elite 66 Kevin Owens head sculpt. So hopefully uh, this little thing on a trick right here will do it. The gut's kind of preventing it from happening. But you know what? That right there actually may work as long as we can get all this in frame. And we are going to spin it. Hopefully this looks okay. You know, shout out to whoever came up with the idea. But I kind of want to find out what it looks like too. So let's go ahead and hit it and see if we can get this swatch going. All right, guys, hopefully we can get everything in one. You know, we're going for the marathon switch right here. Get the trusty hairdryer out of the way. Let's go ahead and do Kevin Owens' head sculpt first. It actually did not heat up how much I'd like, and I feel like it's going to freaking tear the sculpt. Like, the shirt's on fire. The freaking head sculpt is not really. God, I don't like that, man. God in heaven, why does it? And it's tearing behind the ear. You see that shit right there, Brad? You got to be careful with this. F. Well, you know what, Brad? That's not going to stop us from switching the boots, at least. Uh, there's the one boot. There's the other boot boot. We also got to get that on. What leg is this? Is this the left leg? So this is the left foot. And then we got the right foot. We got to pop this off here. I feel like they're just missing some black. I feel like these kick pads may need some black. But you know what, Brad? It's all good in the hood. You know, we're not we're not going to, you know, lose our damn minds over it. We're just kind of seeing what it looks like, you know. This, this is what happens on action figure surgery. I do the crazy ass swap so that you don't have to. That way you see something happen and you like it. And you're like, you know what, Brad? That kind of looks pretty fire. Let me see if that works. And then you try it yourself. And uh, now we're going to switch over here. I don't know if this foot, is this foot too damn big for this? This, for this kick pad, or is that just not on there all the way, or is that just loose? What the hell is going on right there? What in the hell is that? You see how loose that is? I don't know what the hell that is. What is that? You guys seeing that? It's like this. God, that's weird. I don't know what that is. I mean, it doesn't look that bad on the ground, but I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks super loose compared to this side. This side looks a whole lot better, but I don't not knowing how I feel about it. It just kind of looks odd. I don't know. It, it kind of low-key looks fire, but at the same time, it's like, is is it fire? I don't know. You know what? Um, I'm not going to showcase the rest of what this figure is going to look like. What I'll do is I'll do the head swap before showing you guys this at the end, and we'll take a look at it at the end. It kind—I don't know. I'm not knowing how I feel about it. We're just going to have to see it at the end. But again, that 
foot is just super duper loose. I don't know what's up with that shit. But nonetheless, let's move on to AJ Styles and Seth Rollins. All right, guys, our next order of business is going to be heating up the arms of both Elite Seth Rollins because these arms right here are too skinny, first of all. Second of all, these arms right here allow you to switch them, you know, switch hands in and out. And we want to put these AJ gloves on there, you know, with the flat palms. So I am going to be doing that. And then we will put those AJ gloves in there. And then we are going to paint up our Seth Rollins head. All right, guys, so that should be long enough for a basic arm swap. You know, again, it's not anything ridiculous. So we're going to pop these skinnier arms off, and then we are going to go over to the Elite 64 Rollins and pop these arms over here. Very simple stuff, nothing too crazy. This is your basic MDT Surgery 101, anything you want to do right there. You know what? We might as well just put these arms over here so that, you know, they're not just sitting there not doing anything at all. That way, these uh, this Seth Rollins right here won't be completely bare. All you got to do is throw a head scan on it, and it will be completed. So there's that Rollins. We'll sit him off to the side. Then we got to put this arm right here. And and then the next order of business is going to be plopping those AJ gloves in there with the wristband. So we are going to sit this right here. These arms look so much better because these are the ones that are meant to come with. Not interchangeable hands, but you guys get the idea. So we're going to take the Styles uh, wristbands right here. Obviously, it'd be better if it said Rollins. I think that'd be badass. Maybe I can get a decal made or something. Or I could just not use it. I thought about putting on the SR, you know, arms from the top talents. That way it'd say SR, but I like the green of it. And from far away, you can't even really tell. So, you know what, Brad? We'll, we'll do that at a later date or something, but there's the AJ glove, kind of liking the way it looks already, you know, what would be badass again is what if it said SR instead of AJ on it, look at that right there, that looks badass already, I'm really digging the way that looks so next, all we have to do is paint up our Seth Rollins head sculpt so I am going to take this head sculpt and I'm going to paint it with this color and then I'm going to come back with the glow in the dark paint and touch that up and then we'll see at the end of the video, maybe it'll glow in the dark, maybe it won't, but we won't know until we check, but look at them right now side by side, again this is more green than and this this is, has like a yellowish tint to it but I'm liking the way it looks so far you know we're, we're just gonna see what it looks like and be thinking on a tag team name I gotta get you know be sick is what if we could like put this on as a vest or something that's not gonna work stupid ass idea what are you stupid Brad idiot so stupid but alright guys let's go ahead and paint up our Elite 37 Seth Rollins head skull this works perfectly because it gives us a guideline for where the paint needs to go and you know like that so we'll just color over this fade it a little bit and and then boom, man, that, that should work out perfectly. Alright guys, so here is the Seth Rollins and we will take a closer look at that when we are completed. We did paint it up though and I think I'm pretty satisfied with the paint, but again we will take a closer look at him at the end. Now we are moving on to the last thing that we're going to be doing, but it is going to be a process because we got a lot of things to get through, which uh, Jesus Christ, man, Jesus Christ. I got to get me a new cup of water because I got to, you know, pour the decals in there. But we are finally moving on to the Monday Night Messiah version of Seth Rollins. We got to head swap this guy over here, the Elite Seth. 75 Rollins. Put this head scan over here. Then we are going to acetone all these designs off. We got to switch out the knee pads. We have to uh, get all the de designs off, like I said, and then we have to apply the decal. Then we will be done. Jesus Christ. We will be done with our Monday Night Messiah. So I guess the first thing we can do is switch out the head sculpt, put it over here, and then we will move on to acetoning the Rollins, and then we will apply the decal, and then we should be done with the smofo besides gluing that piece right there, which I'm not looking forward to, but let's, let's just go ahead and hit the head swap. Wow. 
All right, guys, should be relatively simple to just swap this out. I may have to, oh my God, he's so freaking on fire. Ooh, woo, 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 woo. All right, now we're gonna go over here. We're gonna pop the, the Elite 75 head sculpt over here. Later on, I am gonna have to paint up the beard because he did, uh, I don't know if you guys remember when I first got this, he had that little chip in his beard, like a little black dot. I removed that with acetone and removed some of the beard, so I am gonna have to come back and fix that up. But now that we have done this, guys, let's go ahead and get into the acetoning process. We're going to be acetoning all these logos off, and then it'll be time to add the Monday Night Messiah here, and then we have the belt bu belt buckle logo or whatever the hell, that little white strip right here that we will glue to it, and we will be done with our Monday Night Messiah. So let's go ahead and acetone this whore. All right, guys, Jesus Christ, that took forever, and don't ever, ever acetone knee pads. I knew that already coming in, but that shit was a mess, man. You guys can see we finally got everything acetoned off. I don't think it's completely perfect. You know, there are some yellow streaks, I think, a little bit. Um, not too noticeable, though, especially on camera. I don't think you guys can make it out, but now we are going to finally put on the Monday Night Messiah decal on the side right here, and we are going to, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to put this thing on there, you know, cut it to size, get it the perfect exact size and spot that we want. It may have to even go up on the crotch a little bit. I am going to look at the exact sizing, but this is what I want to get into right now. We are going to break down this stuff right here. So all you have to do, uh, let me figure out exactly where I want to put it re real quick before I tell you guys how to do it. All right, guys, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off right where the M splits. So right where the M ends, that's where we're going to cut it off at. 
So we did get these from Curb Stomp City Custom Decals. He's the best decal maker in the game. Like that's where you go to, you know, to shop. He sells them on his website. Excellent dude, excellent guy. He always hooks us up here on the channel. So definitely go over there and check him out. But we're gonna take our scissors right quick and cut this thing to size. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to use this stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and get this right where we want it. You wanna cut this as small as possible. You know, you don't want this big fat decal. You want it to be nice and small so it goes on the area exactly how you like and you don't have any you know extra room or anything like that so just like that and you know it's okay to have that little space above the night and a little bit of space above the M right there but what I'm thinking is to cut it right below this M and that will be perfect so we're gonna cut it right there so we are going to have to separate it into two different decals but that's because um, actually shit we may have to separate it into three decals but first we're gonna put the first one on so our first decal is gonna go something like this Damn, you know what? The more I'm looking at it, Brad, I, I think that going down here would actually work out okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this right here. We're going to change the plan. We're going to put that right on that thigh cut and then come back with the rest to fill in the rest of the thigh cut. That way we don't run into any issues and stuff like that. So it should be relatively simple. Um, I'm going to go switch out this water because it does have the lime green color in there. We got to switch that out so that, you know, our decal doesn't get freaking lime green all up in that bitch once we put the decal in it. All right, so we got a cup of water. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to take the blue solution and we're going to open this up the micro set and all you have to have is just a regular paint brush that will do and we're going to take a paint brush right here this is just a regular old brush and we are going to dip it into the micro set wipe off the access and then come in right here and put the stuff on exactly where you want the decal to go so we want the decal to go all right here over the thigh so we are going to you know put all this micro set over right here let that get nice in saturated right there and what it's going to do is it's going to dry out so just let that dry sit and wait for this to dry and then uh, while that actually dries you can actually go ahead clean off your brush a little bit there and you can come back get your uh, your decal that you're going to be using we're going to sit our little paper towel right here because we want the decal to dry you're going to stick that in the water you know maybe 10 seconds it kind of just depends on the size of your decal that you want to use so you stick it in there let that get nice and saturated go ahead and dry it on your cloth right there what you usually would do is go ahead and drop that in the water and then while that dries go ahead and paint on your micro set so the next thing you're gonna do is get your figure right you know where do we want to go I'm looking at the reference picture right now the M is gonna go right here so we're just gonna take this and you're going to slide this off nice and carefully and I typically get right where I want it. That way you can just freaking stick it right to that hoe as it comes off. So right there, and you're just gonna get it in position and press down real good. Make sure it's nice and flat. And look at that, it literally, that micro set is like mad. Oh my God, I was talking too much shit, man. But you see what's good is if it's a little loose, you can actually come in back with your, uh, your brush that you use and you can kind of lay it down a little bit, you know, get it going. And then what you're gonna do now, since we have the top, part of the decal you take your red stuff and this is what's going to sit that hoe right onto it so you're going to dip your brush same brush into the red wipe off the accent and just kind of brush over this don't go back over where you were with your you know where your blue stuff was just go over where you've placed the decal so that can set and now that we've done that now that that will dry and as that dries we're going to go back to our other half of the decal where we put the you know the thigh cut the rest of the monday night messiah right here going to dip that in the water it's a much larger decal than that one right there so you are going to leave it in there for a while you know let that go let that go let that go once that's good and saturated remove it from the water going to lay it down on the paper towel let that sit there for a second and as that's happening we're letting that part dry so that is good I almost damn forgot about my little belt buckle logo right there. I had to make sure that I still had that hoe. Not looking forward to sticking this, man. Like, getting that glue on there and sticking it on there. I don't have any tweezers, so that's going to be a bitch, man. I am not looking forward to that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this decal ready because we're going to stick this right to the figure and i'm going to do my best here to get this exactly where we want it so we're going to slide this off just a little bit slide it off the front part just like so it's wanting to stick together like a like an a-hole so just kind of get this in position and then i want to get a little higher you want to get it right in position you don't want any bull crap just like that right there slide it oh no don't slide down ho damn gotta pick up the whole thing jesus christ 
Christ. All right, now I'm gonna hold this right here, slide the rest of it off, and then just press this in, get a good clean decal application. Go ahead and press down real good. Get all those air bubbles out. And then what you're gonna do, you're coming back with your paintbrush again. You're gonna go to the, the, the red stuff, because that's your setter. And you're gonna push that down on the decal, get it good and saturated. You know, not a shit ton. You don't wanna freaking drown it out, but you know, just a good amount there so that it sticks good. And then you're going to let this dry. And when that dries, it's literally gonna look like it's factory on that hoe. So now we're done with our micro saw. We're done with both steps. Now again, this stuff is life-saving, man. Like this right here before, I discovered this stuff. You can actually get this stuff on Amazon. You can get this stuff on Amazon. It's perfect, it works amazing. Before I got it on Amazon, I think it's like 10, 13 bucks or something like that. And I used to struggle so hard with decals. After getting that stuff, I feel like I'm Mad Reaper or freaking Showstopper Custom Figs or, or Mac Decal. Like, I feel like I'm a professional out here. Obviously, I'm not. Almost wiped away my little belt buckle logo again. But this stuff is life-changing. I think Mad Reaper's the one that showed me that stuff. And it is it is amazing. So, a huge shout-out to him. But you guys can see right there, Monday Night Messiah. Down the side, beautifully done. We are almost done, guys. All we have to do is put the little belt buckle right there. It doesn't even need it, but you know what? I I think it'll give it a little bit more charm. It'll give it a li little bit more accuracy. So let's go ahead and we are gonna try this. Let's make sure that our decal is dry. I think it's just about dry, but um, we should be able to just go ahead and get this decal on here, or not this decal. But again, this is just a little piece of a, an elite box and we're going to try and stick this to the figure. And I do not know how the hell I'm gonna get this on here. What I'll probably do is lay him down like this and I'll tilt the camera up get in here and I'll probably just put some glue right where I want it and then uh, just lay it on there because I don't think I'm going to be able to stick it to the back because it's so small. So I'm going to do my best to try and get this for you guys as best as possible. But uh, let's go ahead and get in here. Jesus Christ, let's not F this up. All right, we got the glue on there. Now we just have to sit this hoe on here, and I do not know how the hell I'm supposed to do this, man. Jesus Christ, this is going to be so difficult, man. Why did I do this? All right, I think I got it. I think that's it right there. I think we freaking did it. I'd love to have an actual belt, but for now, this is what we're going to get. And I got to let that dry right there, because that glue is going to stick to my finger, and then it's going to pick up that piece, and I'm going to have to have a heart attack. But all right, guys, that does it. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything we've done here on WWE Action Figure Surgery, whatever the hell this episode's called. My God, I felt like I've been here forever. All right, guys, so taking a look at everything we've done here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. Jesus Christ, man. I mean, my Lord, again, it feels like I've been here for eternity making this video. But let's take a look. Kevin Owens, again, doesn't look too bad. You know, it just kind of looks a little bit odd. It's not too, too bad, but I hope that whoever wanted that fix-up done, it's done now. I hope you guys like it. I'd love to know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, I don't know what was up with that foot. It still is wobbly. I, I, I really don't know. It's, it's very, very odd to me, but there you go. You got that. You obviously have the Monday Night Messiah that we just took a look at, and I think it looks good, man. I'm pretty excited with the way it came out. The all-white gear looks very, very sick, and I'm sure when Mattel finally makes this attire, it's going to look a lot better than this, but for the time being, I think it looks great. You got the all-white. You got the Monday Night Messiah going down. You got the freaking uh, the chest hair on there. Pretty freaking excellent. Love the way he turned out. And then here is here is a really cool thing, man. I, I really dig the way this uh, this Seth Rollins and AJ Styles tag team came out. Again, huge shout out to Harrison for the idea on that. But here they go. You know, they're matching tag teams. They got their green and black gear on. I felt like putting these kick pads over here maybe or putting Phenomenal One kick pads over here or something would be cool if it was a little bit more customizable. But uh, I love the green hair. Like, Jesus Christ, man, it totally pops off. I do not know if that glows. I'm going to try my best to see if it'll glow right here um, but uh, we will see let me go ahead and it doesn't look like it's gonna glow I'm gonna cut off all the lights in this room yeah Brad I don't think it's freaking glowing you piece of shit but nonetheless guys I think it does look okay I am actually pleased with the way it came out I think the hair looks super badass and the way it covers over the wand and stuff but let me know what you think of the tag team uh, what's your favorite custom here today do you like the AJ Styles Seth Rollins tag team uh, tires right there going together do you like the Monday Night Messiah in all white do you appreciate the Kevin Owens fix up guys let me know down in the comment section below all the stuff I hope you guys hung out all the way through the surgery video it was real it was fun but it wasn't real fun Brad but anyways let's get the hell out of here guys thank you guys so very much for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram and Twitter my damn toys and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you